beautiful people welcome back to a very late wet rainy night <laughs> but i am cheerful because we are inside this lovely studio space and i have my hoa here and it's almost valentine's day so <laughs> i'm happy <laughs> tonight we're going to be playing with a 24 by 24 which i haven't actually had in a pretty long time so i'm excited about this i love the size it's a great size for lots of different techniques, but it's been one of my favorites for a long time. So this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have painted my sides and edges and taped and pinned the back. Let me show you my colors because they are very pretty. The first one we're using is Golden Prussian Blue. Absolutely gorgeous color, deep and rich, stunning. Love this one. Um, this one is a bit of a mystery to me because I had mixed a few different colors together and then I added something to something and I ended up with this very dark, deep, beautiful purple. So I don't remember what I put in it because it was a couple of weeks ago, but it's very pretty. So we're going to use it tonight. I also have this one, which is kind of new for me. This one is Artist Loft in Rose, which is a little pinker than I usually am comfortable with but I think it's gonna be really beautiful with that Prussian blue and that dark, darker purple. And that's the thing, when you're using darker colors like that, make sure that you have some lighter colors to balance that out, to bring in that brightness, okay? I also have our usual suspects, my Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold, a gorgeous showgirl, and some Amsterdam titanium white. Tonight we are going to be using this beautiful split cup. This is a 22 ounce split cup from acrylicpouringtools.com. Thank you so much, Tracy. You guys are amazing. I love you. Um, this is an awesome cup. It's a five chamber split cup with a handle. Mine says my name on it and it says HOA. <laughs> That's so cool. Which I love. But Thank you guys. Acrylicpouringtools.com. Tracy and her husband make these and they're awesome. They make all sorts of awesome tools. In the last couple of videos with the hearts, I showed you their canvas levelers. Those are awesome. So you can check out their Etsy store or you can check out acrylicpouringtools.com. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, I also wanted to show you my base coat color. It's Payne's Gray, which is deeper and darker than any of these. So those light colors are really going to be very important because otherwise everything could just get lost. This is a smidge thinner than that stuff but that's just fine. So this is our Payne's Gray base coat that we're gonna use. Okay, so before I forget again and get excited about the base coat, we're actually going to layer our cup. Um, I'm going to start with that rose on one side. And I'm just gonna pour the whole cup in. We get what we get, okay? And I'm gonna put the, pur 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 the purple on the other end. Because in my experience, what's on the two sides shows up more prominently in the painting. Okay, I'm going to take the Prussian blue and I'm going to put it in the center. And the reason I'm doing that is because it is closest to my base coat color. So it's going to give everything kind of a three-dimensional effect. And now the white and the gold, I could just put one in each chamber, but what I really like to do is stack them. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in there and then some gold. And a little bit of white. And some more gold. And this one I'm going to start with the gold. And then some white. our base coat color and we're going to put some of it down. I'm just going to tilt this just very slightly. Spread it out a little bit. And I'm going to pour my cup into here. I'm going to hold it like this. I'm actually going to position the canvas, A, so you guys can see what's coming out of the cup better, and B, so that it's more ergonomic for my hand. 
Okay, we're gonna do a wandering ring pour. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lass, that <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do our wandering ring pour. Whipping that around there. Yeah. That's the idea, right? Whip it good. Okay. We're gonna stop there. Okay. Highly recommend that you wash your split cups as soon as you are done pouring them. That's pretty. Okay. That makes me happy. I like it. Okay, let's put some more flow extender around this because we don't want to lose any of our design. Pretty cool. I like it. Let's tilt this out. I wouldn't mind leaving some negative space if that happens. That's fantastic. If not, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, let's see. We're gonna walk this down nice and easy. I'm gonna take that little bit off that I didn't like. Bring this back to the center and take it down off of that side. Take this down slightly. There's kind of a lot of paint on here, so I'm going to take it pretty far to get that extra paint off. But I am going to periodically shove this back this way so we don't lose too much of it. gonna take this down that way to get rid of that wave of the flow extender and now that if we went over the edge now we can take this back down and adjust the composition the way that we want
great palette. Works really well together. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought, but once again, <laughs> you totally surprised me. <laughs> I hope I always surprise you. Okay. Take that down a little bit. I love what's happening in here. This is really pretty in here. Where it's like the pink and that gold, the rose and the gold combining. Got some cute little caterpillar cells there. There's no silicone in my paint. <laughs> um, I love these lines. This pink up here again, where it's blended with the gold, is really pretty. Don't have as much purple, but I really like what we're getting in here as like a background color with that Prussian blue is really pretty too. We've got the blue and the gold blending a little bit in through there. These are really pretty lines, I like that. Do you think it needs to come back up a little bit? Or did you like it when it was more stretched out? That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not always just diplomatic. <laughs> I like that. I think it's really cool. I'm only diplomatic if I agree with you. Okay, great. I think actually it could go this way too. If the top is towards me. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I like it better that way. This way? Mm hmm Okay. All right, so this is pretty neat. I like this. I'm happy. I will show you guys one this try. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's not completely dry yet, but it hasn't changed at all. So this one came out pretty cool. I love all of these colors. That rose is so pretty, especially with the gold and that Prussian blue and our mystery purple that we had. It came out really beautiful though. I especially love this top section with that negative space. You can see it's just dry around the perimeter. It's been taking a long time for everything to dry because it is raining and raining and won't stop. But I will show you guys when it's totally dry next time. Hopefully it will be dry. But I did want to take a second and show you this one, which is completely dry now. And that's just turned out so pretty. That fire opal on there. Such a gorgeous color with the burnt orange and the iridescent orange yellow. So that was really fun. But this one turned out awesome. I'm very happy with this. Sorry, it's not the best angle, but <laughs> it's not really dry. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.